from destroying a YouTuber who tried to manipulate him. I'm not pulling these punches. I'm not holding anything back. To shutting down a crazy vegan. Some truly unhinged insanity shit that made it look like he had just escaped from Arkham Asylum. Here are seven dumb YouTubers that got destroyed by Penguin Zero. Starting with one of YouTube's biggest creators, literally. Nikocado Avocado's journey from veganism to the now infamous mukbang star has captured the attention of millions. <laughs> It tastes like diabetes. I can't, it tastes like diabetes. Well, you wouldn't know what diabetes tastes like because you haven't. Penguin Zero, or Charlie, wanting to take Nikocado's example as a YouTuber with declining health, decided to shed light on how negative attention fuels YouTubers and their need for fame, along with what they're willing to do for it. Everyone's so desperate to squeeze as much milk as possible from those beautiful honkers of internet points. In a video titled, This YouTuber is slowly himself for views, Charlie talks about Nikocado's transformation from a healthy and happy person to something out of a Black Mirror episode. This is kind of what his content has become. <laughs> this is what he used to look like in 2017, and then when the videos really started to gain traction, he gained over 200 pounds in the last couple of years. And it's absolutely true. It's the audience's fault for this. They created what Nakato Avocado has become. Obviously, it's not all their fault. He is making the conscious decisions to completely throw away his health and well-being. Charlie also brings to light the various disabilities Nikocado seems to be suffering from. He claims that the weight of his body has now broken a few of his ribs, which now has him bedridden. I think he also claimed to now have to have a full-time nurse in order for him to just engage in day-to-day -day activities. You know Charlie is concerned when he's not even insulting him anymore. Enraged about his so-called haters, Nick Akato responded to Charlie's video. By the way, we're only in this video for like a couple of minutes. He didn't ask his millions of followers, don't correct him, don't make fun of his appearance, don't make his mental health upset, send him some support for nothing. Nikocado then went on to claim that Charlie was using his dire situation for views. Are you trying to pl play the high and mighty game all on your pedestal? That you're not trying to squeeze something out of something? Yes, let's sensationalize things about me at my expense. I don't even know who you are. Charlie and Nikocado would then go back and forth as Charlie tried to voice his concern and offer advice, while Nikocado would react to the videos like a child throwing a tantrum. Uh, all I was saying is, the success he found with mukbangs has reinforced his decision to eat this way. You lying, hypocritical piece of crap. Don't sit here in your super superiority. Oh, I'm so articulate. I'll talk like this so that you watch me. You know, he's just trying to get views. You're trying to get views. Despite the controversy putting Nick Akato in a negative light, after a series of videos about how Penguin Zero and his fans destroyed my life, Nick Akato went back to posting the usual content. I feel like Charlie is so respected in the YouTube community that getting on his bad side is in most cases career suicide. And while Penguin Zero showed at least some mercy for Nikocado, for this next creator, that wasn't the case. From posting gameplay videos and being one of YouTube's most famous creators to being called egotistical, manipulative, and greedy, SS Sniper Wolf is the perfect example of if nothing is enough was a person. It all began on October 14th, 2023, when Charlie would post a video titled SS Sniper Wolf Situation is Crazy. Sniper Wolf, huge channel. She mainly does TikTok reacts, which has made her the punching bag of the internet recently. She's caught more fire than the sequel to The Hunger Games because a lot of people have been stating that what she does isn't really reacting to content, it's mainly just stealing it, freebooting it. Charlie then mentions an incident involving Jax Films, a YouTuber that took pride in reacting to SS Sniper Wolf's reaction videos and making fun of her. You know the phrase, work smarter, not harder? Well, Sniper Wolf does neither. She just steals. Allegedly, Sniper Wolf has just doxxed Jax Films. In an Instagram post, she posted this. And it was more than just this picture here. Apparently, she even posted one of his house. Then, in a video titled, SS Sniper Wolf's Situation Just Got Worse, Charlie expresses concerns about some of SS Sniper Wolf's videos and her questionable behavior. It's her encouraging some seemingly underage individuals to do some degenerate acts on video. And then she meets this girl who says that she's 16 and then agrees to show each other their boobs and the 
16 year old flashes the camera which Sniper Wolf does censor, but that doesn't make it okay. Charlie then proceeds to talk about how he senses an apology video coming from SS Sniper Wolf, and also points out how YouTube hasn't taken an appropriate action on her just yet. Sniper Wolf is our turbo super creator of the year, Un unbelievable. So just like these very, very positive, pumping their fists Sniper Wolf fan tweets, I, I don't think they'd be that dumb, I, I don't think they'd be that stupid. I really think this is just like a poorly timed bad tweet from them. But in his next video, Charlie takes a close look at and criticizes YouTube's response to the ongoing drama. Off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk, harm our community, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. That is... Pff, that is one of those things where you read it and it's like a flashbang hits you, like all your senses go out and you have to question if what you just read was real. And the so-called apology from SS Sniper Wolf that Charlie had predicted. Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm blah, blah, blah. I am not going to bore you with reading all of that. It's a typical PR response, and everyone saw right through it, including Charlie. There's really nothing she can say here. What she's done is absolutely indefensible. It's also very unlikely that she's being genuine here. Like, I don't think she feels remorse for it or anything. She isn't sorry about what she did, she's just sorry that it backfired. Following Charlie's videos on her, SS Sniper Wolf's viewer numbers began to plummet. But unlike SS Sniper Wolf, who stayed on the platform and continues to post videos, this next YouTuber would go on to delete his accounts and retire from his content making career after messing with Charlie. Jason Wojo, the fake social media guru with 900,000 followers, many of which are allegedly fake, began to finally think about some of his decisions after Charlie talked about him in his video titled, This Guy Is Pathetic. But today I want to take a look at what happens when all you do is fake it without ever making it. You end up like this loser we're about to take a look at today. A guy who has become a complete parody of self-confidence, but without any level of self-awareness. It's beautiful stuff that he, he talks about. Let's take you for example and me, and we both pull up and we go to your girl. Odds are I'm gonna take that. If you compared me to you, you're not going to win that battle. Followed by his prediction that Jason isn't really as wealthy as he shows to be. Now, why I don't believe him about the success of his business is because the only thing he shows that's worth money is his car, the McLaren. He's made like a thousand shorts about how much money he spends filling up a McLaren's tank. For the entirety of the video, Charlie went on to roast Jason's ideals that he preaches in his TikToks, claiming Jason is just living his life under false pretenses. Seeing this as an opportunity to go viral, Jason decided to turn it into a drama by commenting within just 13 minutes of Charlie's video going live. Keep giving me views, making my reaction now to this clown. And a reaction video he made. He began by bragging about the cars he owned. First of all, okay, the car is not rented. Okay, I don't only own a McLaren. I used to have a 570S that was white. If you follow me for a while, you know this. It's a convertible drop top. He then claimed how unsuccessful Charlie is compared to him. He kind of roasted himself, considering how Charlie has a net worth of about $38 million, whereas Jason stands at a self-proclaimed $3 million. Charlie lives in your head rent-free. It's as though Jason was begging to be put in his place, and Charlie did as was expected of him in a follow-up video. He didn't look tougher, he looked even stupider. It's just one of those things where when you get offended and your defense is, I'll fight you for it, I just feel like it's a bad look. Honestly, getting roasted by Charlie was probably the most positive thing to happen to this man's career. Jason went on to reply to this video too, getting the attention of other YouTubers who took Charlie's side to criticize the fake finance TikToker. All these criticisms were met with the same reaction videos by Jason, who thought this drama would get him the attention he craved and make him look more alpha. Instead, a month after the drama unfolded, Jason lost several thousand subscribers and followers across every single platform. Now, as dumb as Jason sounds, he would still not be the dumbest person to get destroyed by Charlie. From bullying children with cancer. Cancer is an almighty cancer and I wish there was a cure for it. To feeding his dogs and cat, which must eat a vegan diet. He's been on a vegan diet the entire time we've had him for over a year. And as you can see, he is not dead. He is quite alive. Richard Burgess, better known online as Vegan Gains, had gained quite a reputation for his extreme views and takes on promoting a vegan lifestyle. So don't get on my bad side, make some vegan gains, and be nice to animals or I'll you. 
This dude is every negative vegan stereotype rolled into a single human. YouTube finally had enough and temporarily deleted his channel in 2019. Realizing the thin ice he was on, Vegan Gains put an end to his crazy behavior, a move that ended up costing him millions of views. However, just a year later, on March 27, 2020, Charlie would upload a video that would give Vegan Gains a chance to either repair or destroy his reputation forever. But I want to show you something truly deplorable and evil. There's a YouTuber that has made an entire career out of torturing and eat animals alive for their mukbang videos. In the video, Charlie exposes a mukbang YouTuber, Su Young, for her disturbing actions. So how does she treat an octopus? Well, by devouring it alive as it tries its best to run the f way. Actually alive, it's not like some kind of post-mortem response or anything, and even in the title she makes it well known the octopus are alive and that she's eating them alive. That's the whole draw of the video. But while Charlie's video brought Su Young's actions under review, Vegan Gaines, who had the chance to back Charlie up, instead decided to call him out for his apparent hypocrisy, as he is also a meat eater. He uploaded a video where he supported animal cruelty. He made a sausage making video. So what is this, Charlie? Uh, honestly, I don't know anymore. <laughs> This looks like something I would have dissected in biology class in high school. So I find it interesting that uh, Penguin will complain about so young, abusing, torturing, and murdering uh, these sentient animals, these very intelligent animals, by the way, like uh, octopi and squid, but he's totally fine with abusing, torturing, other very intelligent animals. This isn't even about being vegan. This guy just wants attention. Now, unfortunately for vegan gains, Charlie, who's an animal lover, took the accusations very seriously and responded the following day. But it's people like vegan gains who are overly aggressive and the feral monsters in his comments section that really give vegans a bad rap and a negative reputation in the world. You then had a moment of self-reflection and realization when you said, maybe it's because you're an unlikable asshole. Yes, that's exactly Exactly why. That is how you're perceived on YouTube. It's how you conduct yourself. You're extremely condescending to anyone that's not in your club. You literally present yourself as a pseudo-intellectual Twitter user on YouTube. You attack everyone in the fitness industry that even so much as walks by a diner that has meat on the menu. By choosing to pick a fight with one of YouTube's most beloved creators, Vegan Gains experienced firsthand what it's like to mess with Penguin Zero and lost what was left of his audience after that. But while Vegan Gains could be seen as defending something he cares about, despite the extreme lengths he went to, this next YouTuber was just plain psychotic. None are more shameless or just downright batshit insane than Prank Invasion. Chris Monroe, aka Prank Invasion, has an infamous reputation for his pranks. If you say yes to any one of the questions, I get a kiss. Are you ready? Okay. You ready? Okay, you just said yeah. That's one of the questions. Come here. However, while this style of content gained him over 3.5 million subscribers, it wouldn't take long for people to find out that Chris stages all his interactions and pays the women to kiss him. He was first exposed for his scam by H3H3 Productions, following which he was temporarily banned from YouTube. But it wasn't until Chris posted this video that made a lot of famous faces, including Charlie, talk about him. I finally got all my things back, so I owe you guys a crazy video and in this one, I'm gonna try to kiss my sister. And as you can see, nothing is off limits when it comes to getting YouTube views. Now, it's debated if this is real or not since all of his shit's fake, but this one has some like proof that it's his real sister, kind of. I, I don't really care. It's a weird clickbait anyway to really bank on the incest community. Don't mess with this man, guys. He's mastered over 10 forms of incest jitsu. Charlie then comments on Chris's beef with H3H3, all the while proving how Chris is faking a persona for views. I don't know if I believe this. I, I'm guessing he's beating his opponents by making out with them until they get too erect and ejaculate and just collapse from exhaustion. Originally, Chris was hoping for exactly this, knowing that if he did something controversial, it would get people talking about him. Unfortunately, the backlash he received after the attention Charlie's video gave him led Chris to take an entirely different path instead. Thank you for everything. It was a fun journey. One thing is for certain, whether you loved me or hated me, when you're 90 years old rocking in your old chair, you will still remember exactly who Prank Invasion was or who Chris is, whatever my name is. But while Chris at least had some sense of self-respect to quit publicly following his beef, the same can't be said about Mama Max, the infamous YouTube vigilante. My name is Max Stryker. I'm a filmmaker dedicated to empowering children. 
However, while Max's goal of hunting files is something everyone can get behind, he's also using the topic's seriousness to shield himself and do anything he wants, often being described as manipulative, and using any tool he could get his hands on to make others do his work for him. And anyone who refused would be cancelled. I had hoped that influencers, especially those who've interacted with my content before, would step up, even if it was part of a more lighthearted stream, like a Halloween special. Unfortunately, it seems that self-preservation outweighs child welfare for most influencers. This video was a follow-up to his Pick a Side YouTube movement, where Mama Max tried forcing every big YouTuber to either agree with Max or admit they're a predator. However, things would start to go south when he uploaded a video titled This is the Greatest Cancellation of All Time, where our white knight clickbaited the audience that a universally beloved YouTuber is a potential creep. Charlie, you are a voice heard by millions. We reached out hoping for a private response at the very least. Your platform has the power to drive significant change, yet many voices remain unheard amid the digital clamor. The video is basically a call to action and a rant on Charlie not doing enough with his millions of subscribers. Mama Max's main motive was to start drama and make it seem like Charlie was getting cancelled for siding with the wrong people. But days later, Charlie would respond to Mama Max and silence him before the situation escalated. We talked like a month ago about like what he was working on in his investigation. Apparently when I had COVID, he messaged me a couple times and I never saw it. And now he's taken that as me ghosting him and ignoring his very important mission. And it really rubs me the wrong way. Making a 21 minute video because a guy stopped messaging you on Discord is wild. Max's behavior then continued to become increasingly more disturbing with the manipulation of his colleagues, not disclosing where the money he gathered for the victims went, and his lack of knowledge of the legal system. Max's abuse of power ended up costing him his credibility and reputation, with his channel not seeing a new upload for over 11 months. But while Penguin Zero made only one video about Mama Max, this next creator got hit multiple times. Quibble Cop, also known as Jordy, is a famous face in the world of gaming creators. But Jordy himself can be called the main culprit for killing his own channel, fueled by Charlie's expose of him. In a video titled, Downfall of a Massive YouTuber, Charlie was detailing Quebelcop's terrible move of turning himself and his channel into an AI version. If I want to build tons and tons and tons of channels that will flourish and shine forever, we need to remove the human element. Yes, it sounds crazy, <laughs> but we need robots, we need computers. That's spoken like a man who really cares about the content. If I'm to own five million channels, I realize the weakest link is the goddamn human. In another video, Charlie breaks down Jordy's immense AI plan, critiquing him for his decision of choosing a bad version of himself and consistency over his audience. And then he did a hard pivot into AI. He wanted everything to be AI, and now he's completely digitized himself. He's jacked Quebble Cop into the cyberspace and now all he does is AI related work. What if you didn't know that the content was created by AI? That's called misleading people and that's shitty. You're, you're lying to them by pretending that it's a real person behind it. The content will never be the same. Instead of admitting to his mistakes, Quebble Cop turned the whole situation into a massive joke, even letting his AI respond to Charlie on his behalf. You want a debate? I will give you a debate. So let's react to penguins. Eventually down the line, people wouldn't be able to tell if the content was a real person, organic flush and cringe, or machine behind the content. I mean, I can be cringe sometimes, so... Does that make me human? Am I finally a human? That's all. I love how even the AI sounded like he was struggling to come up with an argument. And that was the end of Quibble Cop as we knew him. With every AI-generated video posted to his channel, Quibble Cop lost a massive amount of subscribers and views, eventually fading away from being the most popular to the most despised channel on YouTube. 